three. Come down to London town, watch the people there, rushing round and round with no time to spare. Look around the sun, one trot, and what a living is you can. If you're strong, can't go wrong. Have you got the time, please? Five minutes to one, dear. Oh, well. Tom. Can you spare me a moment? What's this up? Close the door, Miss Tom. Six months, isn't it? Pardon? I beg your pardon, Miss Pond. I said pardon. I know. Oh. It's more polite to say I beg your pardon than simply pardon. Oh. Now, six months, isn't it? Uh, since you joined our firm. Oh, yes, Miss Arthur. And in those six months, you've proved to be most efficient and reliable. Oh. Mr. Micklewright is most happy about you. Oh. Most happy. But he's a very particular man, Miss Pond. Very particular about punctuality. And this is the second lunch hour this week that you've been late getting back. Oh, yes. Now, fortunately, he doesn't know. No? You like the pictures? No. Oh. 
I mean it. No. <laughs> well, uh... Uh, now, you have a future with this firm, Miss Prompt. I hope so. But only if you work hard and apply yourself. Thank you, Miss Art. I'd like to see you do well. And I'm always ready to help. You have helped? Have I? With the flag. Oh, that was nothing. I might never have got fixed up. Well, I happen to know from the girl's father that she had a room to let. I knew you were looking. And as I said, I'm always ready to help. Uh, so, of course, sir. Uh... Ah, he's back. Now, I'd like these by the end of the afternoon, Miss Pond. Yes, Miss Art. Uh, thank you, Miss Pond. Silly contraption. What's burning it down? What does? Silly act. No, you don't. It's taking up room. Good at that, Nora. Quarter of a century since the war, Barry Pond, and you're still messing about with that act. Yeah, well, you was fond enough of it then, Nora. It's had its day. Move your glasses, feet, you great lump. It's been all day filling the place up. Can't help it? Of course you can help it. Get off there. Look, I'm on my holiday. No excuse for laying about. Oh, I work hard. When? My job, I work hard. <laughs> Leaning on a spade half the day. Spade? That's what I said. You don't have no spade. Well, if you had one, you'd lean on it. I've watched you road men. I am not a road man. Cups of tea all day and a fire to sit round. Nora, you know I'm not a road man. Well, what are you then? Maintenance. So you say. I do all the painting. Painting? Yeah, all the signs and things I paint. Well, you're a road man then. Well, it's a skilled job and I work hard. So do I. I need a holiday. Don't I? Huh. When do I get holiday? I think night and day I am. Yeah. Night? Oh, shut up. I'll come and rest your legs in the morning. Oh, you can have a holiday right now, love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What would happen if I took holiday? Oh, place would fall to pieces. Here, come and give us hand with this. No one in this place has hands turned to help me. Hello. Who washed up last night? Not you. Avril did, though. Avril washed up every night. Well, then. Well. The only one who ever tries to work is Avril. The only one with any thought for me is Avril. Oh, come off it, Nora. Holiday, he says. Holiday, he says. Come off now, Barry. Holiday. What's that? Your death and violet. How long since you given me? How long? Five years this Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Five years. For your holiday, he said. Well, it was a joke, like. Joke? My holiday, a joke? Well, no, love. Five me. years. I remember because our average was just 13. Five years. Talk, all talk, that's you. Should have known when I married you. In another five years, it would be disintegrated. Talk, all talk. You did all the talking. <laughs> yeah. You had a lovely voice, Nora. That's right. All soft and cooing like the pigeon. I loved you, huh? Why don't you use it? Use it? Yeah, make you smell nice. It's meant to be used. In that kitchen? Well, when you have your bath. In here. Oh, I couldn't use it like that, Barry. No, I couldn't. No, one day I'll take the holiday. You never know. I don't know. Five years sitting on a cake of soap. Three cakes of soap. I'm going now, Barry. You right. listening to me? Yes, love. Listening properly, I mean. Yes, love. I want you to peel the spuds. Drank this again. Stop it. Well, where's Avril, then? Hey? Where's Avril? Well, she's working, and she? Yeah, well, when she Well, I'm not back. having to come home to peel spuds while you're sitting here on your backside all day long. All right, I'll ask one of the others, then. 
You'll do them like I said. And if I come home and find our others about to peel them spuds, I'll do you. Oh, yes, love. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I've worked very hard, she does. Very hard. <laughs> oh, look at her face. <laughs> Go. Get me said. <laughs> Is this your work, Miss Puddle? Quite an artist, aren't you? Ah, oh, Edwin. I still think you look fine when you're on the start. Is that the room? Yes, you are. A moment, please. Yes. You know, I've looked smashy now. Hey? You look smashy. School uniform. No. Greenfield comprehensive. Not that scarf. No. Bit of an old dress, that. Yeah. Found it in a jumble sale. Oh, smashing. You just still like it? What? This job. Yeah. It's boring, I think. Not really. Bashing away at a typewriter. The shorthand. Oh, boring. I don't intend doing this all my life. Mary Bliss, eh? <laughs> Not that, either. Oh, free living. I've seen enough of marriage. Experience. You could say that. You're too young. I don't mean my marriage. Oh. It's just a beginning. What? This typewriter. Yeah? First step on the ladder. To fame. <laughs> tycoon, eh? Tycoon? You, tycoon girl. Wouldn't mind. Well, I told me so. What? To watch out. Hey? Couple of years time, you'll be on his knee. Whose knee? Oh, Mr. Mickawites. Of Mickawite Bridge and Nephew. Oh, Shut you up. He likes that knee. She can keep it. I don't want no bloke's knee. Oh, you Shut up. He likes that knee. She can keep it. I don't want no bloke's knee. Way to success. Yeah, I'll get there without the knee. Not by looking at paintings, you won't. You followed me. Nothing else to do. Well, find something else. I like paintings too. Do you? You're not the only one with artistic feelings. Don't talk so dumb. But you need to keep them in check, as I'm sure Miss Art would say. I've got them well in check. When I'm ready. Fricassee of rice. Yeah? And there's his dinner. Moving in? Um, well, yeah. Oh. See you then. Sorry. Sorry? About your rice. All in a day's work. Coffee? No, Ta, I have to get home. You're not moving in? Uh, well, yeah. Oh. Later. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, you're paying rent. Yeah. 
I feel guilty. Guilty? You paying rent and not... Oh, paying... well, yeah, Mum, you see. Mum? She don't know yet. Oh. Are you sure you want to come? Of course. I just called. Yes? To see if you was likely to be in tonight. Oh, yeah. Or tomorrow night. Every night. Well, yeah. I might see you then tonight. Splendid. Excuse me. Keep it to yourself out. Yeah. Long day. It's always a long day. Well, I know. Well, how about your Avril now? What about her? Well, how's she getting on? Oh, she's doing lovely. Oh, nice girl, your Avril. Yeah, she got her head screwed on. Butter? Oh, yeah, I'll have a pound. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, she'll do very well, I'm sure. Oh, she will. Yeah, she gets on with things, as Avril. No standing about, she just gets on. Treat her about the place. Oh, yeah, that'll be, let me see you. Eleven and sixpence, just. Uh, yes, Let's stick this in your bag for you. Right. Oh, I thought I had two of those. I don't know where it all goes. What were your lot? Feeding the army, isn't it? That's what makes the world go round. <laughs> Watch yourself crossing the roads. <laughs> Turn up. my boy. Spud bashing. Oh, well, I love it, didn't you? I could stick a dynamite for you out over this racket. Move yourself. Let me get to that stove. I'll put that lousy out of the way before I burn it. Barry? Yeah? Put that on the table. Wendy, your mum says to lay the table. No, she never. Yes, Wendy. She told you to lay it. How do you know? I know mum. Tanner? Half a crown. Too much. Come on. Here, come on. Give us a friend. Get that ball off that. Good one, and a nice quick one over oh, there. Come on, no one do nothing in this now, bleeding shut house. Shut up, Nora. Get come on over here. Well, come on. About what about me, then? Come on. Anyway, Give me a quick one. That's the idea, and you. Now, come on, show us how this does it. She's going to together. Add to me, and good, that's it. Come on, and keep going. Stop messing you, Lord. Stop it. Oh, shut up, Nora. Why don't you keep quiet? Get it off. Buffalo. Get that blouse off before I land you one. Oh, give us a leg. Get it off. It's clean and I want it tomorrow. Selfish bitch you are. And hurry up. Oh, go on, give us just a little wear. Get it, it off. Selfish, lousy bitch. What type of talk is that? She's got my blouse on. What are you doing with that blouse? Just a lend. Can she have it? I want it clean for tomorrow. Take it off. You're always on her side. It's her blouse. I never have anything. She bought it and she has to go decent to her work. You can bloody iron it now. That will do. And clear up this mess. She did it. Clear it up, the both of you. Wow. 
one. You waste your time messing about with pencils. Any bit of fun. Nearly ruined our Avril with it. I don't say things like that. Lucky she had her head screwed on. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, she'd have been wasting time like you, messing about with pencils. I don't keep on, Nora. Well, someone's got to keep on, or nothing would get done. Well, what the bloody hell does it matter anyway? It matters that kids grow up decent with a living in their hands, not pencils. Yet. Have you? Uh, no. When will you tell her? I'll have to see. Give us fair warning. What do you mean? So as I can get out in time. Hey? Before she blows her top. Makes me sick. Hey? I can't do what you want. Oh, you don't do so bad. Me? Mum's little white-haired girl. Only says I bring her money. No, she thinks you're God's gift to Mrs. Pond. I won't be for long. No. Poor old dad. What's it to do with him? Well, he's the one that cops it when she's in a stew. He's big enough. I have? Well, how will you tell her? Tell her? Tell who? You've been up to something. Me? I can tell by the look on your face. I've been up to nothing. I want the truth. Oh, Mum! I'm getting tired of you, my girl. It's not me! Oh, I'd like to know who it is, then. You're always picking on me! Not without call. I'm not the only one in the house. Now, what's the argument, girls? What is the argument? You don't know, do you? Oh, I don't want none of your cheese. You argue for the sake of arguing. Oh, shut up. You tell me to shut up. Both of you, shut up. I come home tired out. I come arrest you late, Nora. Oh, no, there's something going on here, and I mean to get to the bottom of it. There's nothing going on. You can't even talk in private. Oh, well, if you want to shut your mother out, sometimes we do. Yeah, I said there was something going on. Yeah. That's not like you to talk to me like that. Not like you at all. It's that one there she's been getting at you. Oh, crumb! And if you're shielding her... If you only knew. You see what I mean? She's done something, that one there. She's done something to be ashamed of. Well, she doesn't look ashamed. Come here, you. <laughs> and don't just stand there. Well, what's the damage? Bad. Yeah? Don't you think it's crowded? Hey? Flat. Don't you think it's crowded? Yeah, well... No being so big, I reckon. No room to be on your own. No. So, I thought it'd be a good idea if I moved out. Moved out? Got my own place. Hey? Here, here. See what I mean? What's all this? Always someone listening. Yeah, she's your mum. Of course I'm your mum. It makes no difference. Difference to what? You listening. Well, I'm entitled to listen. No, you're not. Hey? So I'm getting a place. Place? Yeah. To live in? What else? On your own? More or less. Well, what does that mean? It means I share a flat. Oh, no, it doesn't. No? How old are you, my girl? Eighteen, as you well know. Well, you can put all ideas of sharing flats out your head. I've made up my mind, Mum. Your mind? Yes. What about mine? It's me that's going. You're going nowhere at all. I have to go. Going nowhere at all. I have to go, Mum. Get away from all this. Really? Partly you. I'll put the kettle on. He's right, you know. It is getting crowded. Yeah, it's getting crowded in here. Oh, stop that. And as for you, you're worse than the lot of them put together. Now, what have I done? It's what you haven't done. Look, I just said oh, it was getting crowded. Oh, why don't you get out of here and see what those lads of yours are up to? Oh, 
never thought to see the day... Mum. Never thought to see the day you turn on me. Turn on you? A fool I'd done for you. Look, I just want to get my finger to the bone. Oh, I never said you My finger to the bone to make a decent home. Decent? Decent! And you've got me to thank for that. I do. And now, as soon as you get a job... That's just the I'll bring your money home. Money? I'll bring your money home, you're all. Oh, I can't stay here forever. You'll stay till I say you can go. He was 18. Now what you want about? When he married me, he was 18. So? Well, I mean... Well, what do you mean? Well, Avril's 18 and she's old enough to get married. She's not getting married! No, but... Well? You got married when you was 18? Why can't she move? Well, it was different from me. How different? The war was on. Well, I don't see what difference that makes. You might have been killed. Yeah, well, that's all the more reason No, I don't want to hear any more about it. She's not moving from this house. Nora, she needs to look around. I wouldn't be so bad if she was getting married. Now, make up your mind, woman. Well, at least I know what she was up to, wouldn't I? <laughs> Would you? Oh, stop that. That time and place for everything. I mean, these girls in flats. Yeah. You don't know what they get up to, do you? No. Drugs and, and things. It's not her Avril. You don't know, do you? She's got her head screwed on, like you said. Well, we only see her at home. Well, what about this job? What about it? Well, look how she's worked hard for it. Well, that was my doing. Your doing? Well, I said to her, didn't I? I said, short hand and type in my girl. Nice, clean job. Easy on your feet. Not like my sauce factory. Yes. Putting sauce in bottles. Where's the fun in that? But shorthand? Well, you can go anywhere with shorthand. I said to her, didn't I? I said... Nora, she chose, didn't she? Chose? I mean, she might have been an artist. Artist? Yeah. Door smashing, don't she, eh? Look at that. And where would that have got her? Well, I mean, shorthand typing wouldn't have been my idea. <laughs> Your idea? Since when did you have an idea? No, oh, she'd have made a smashing artist. Like you? Well, no. Painting white lines down the middle of the road? Stand still. Since we got married, you've changed. 24 years is a long time. You used to listen to what I had to say. Did I? No, you... Well, you'd get me all muddled up and... I'd... Look, all I'm trying to say is... What? Our Admiral knows what she's doing. That's got a case. It's got that little leather case. What is that giving? Yeah. Asking. I'm not asking for nothing. You'll have to make a parcel then. Have to get some paper and make a parcel. Going tonight? Yeah. You'll be lucky. Be lucky with her in that mood. Be funny, won't it? What? This bed on my own. You'll like it. Yeah? I'll go and get some paper. You've been such a good girl. Still is. What's the lot you put together? Breaking up the home. Oh, hell, woman. Well, and now what's she doing? You're worse than a bloody head. Hey? You can't sit on your eggs forever. Sound like your father. I don't mind. He was coarse. He was a farm labourer, if that's what you You know what I mean. What's that for? Bradville. No? What's this? 
paper bag. I'm not soft. What are you up to? Answer me. I'm moving. I said you wasn't. I'm moving tonight. Oh, well, where are you staying tonight, may I ask? In my place. Your place? Yeah. You mean you've got a place? Yeah. Already? Yeah. Since when? A couple of weeks. You never said. No. Never told me nothing about it. No. my dad's. Told you, didn't I? You like my dad's case? I can manage. Come to London with that case. Why don't she go? Shut up. Then we can have a bit of peace around here. I said shut up, didn't I? You heard, didn't you? Yep. Got a place without telling me. Can you blame her? I blame you. Me? You. Now what have I done? I blame you for being so soft. You ruined that girl. I said, let me buy Nora. You ruined a lot of them. Not me. I've done my best. My very best. You never give me the chance. Hey? You never let me near them. What do you mean? It means I've ruined no one. I don't know what you're on about. No. Now let me buy Nora. Case that. She didn't like that case. Come to London with my dad. <laughs> you see, it's old. Real good leather, that. None of your old plastic. Kept it polished, did it too. Do you have to go tonight? Do the same whenever I go. You won't lose it, will you? Case. Yeah, case. He thought a lot of it. I hate you to lose it, love. I won't lose it then. There are three things, didn't you, love? Come on, Dawn, love. Got a good home here, you know? Yeah. Good mum, too. She thinks a lot of you. I'm not much good, I know. <laughs> No, I'm not much good standing around. True, though, she's got a lot to put up with. Where is this flat, then? Kensington. Ooh. Moving up in the world, eh? That's what I intend to do. That's what my dad said when he came to London. Moving up in the world, he said. They got a job with the sewage. Shoveling muck for the first five years. <laughs> Worse than on the farm, he said. Well, I won't be shoveling no muck. No, no, of course not, love. Mind you, have got more money. Yes. I thought flats was hard to come by. Well, if you don't mind sharing. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're sharing, aren't you? Who helped you find it? Miss Art. <laughs> She's got a finger in the pie, eh? <laughs> Seems everyone's got a finger in the pie except the girl's mother. Helping her on her way. She needs a case. It's your fault, then. Fault? When she goes wrong. Oh, oh Nora, for mom. Pete's sake! Who owns this place? A flat? Who owns it? A girl. What sort of a girl? She's all right. What sort of a girl? Classy. Oh, classy. Sort of. Well, you're not going. Oh, don't start that again. I don't care for these classy girls with their fancy ideas. You don't know any. I suppose that's what you want, is it? I want my own place. Want to be classy? Oh, put it that way if you like. It's all about us. I've paid me rent and I'm going. Pay your rent? Yes. You've been paying rent for the past two weeks? Why? To get the place. Sly. No. Sly sneaking about paying rent on flat. I wanted to tell you. Well, but... well, why didn't you then? Because I knew what you'd say. 
Oh, I have to go, Mum. I need to go. You're needed here. But I need somewhere with a bit of space. I want to get on in my job and we haven't even got a bathroom. Well, you don't need a bathroom to keep clean. But I've got nowhere to hang me clothes. No room to hang me clothes properly. Well, we could put on more pegs, couldn't we? Pegs? Yeah, we could put on more pegs. There's room for more pegs, girl. But there's no room for me. Oh, no. No, of course not. Not with your classy ideas. Now, Nora, you want the girl to get on, don't you? Yeah, in the right way. This is my right way. Well, what about my money? Your money? What do you give me each week? Now then, now then. Well, it helps a lot, that money. Well, we can manage. We? Who does the managing? Who does the scraping, eh? Not you. Standing about half the day looking at that daft act. What do you know about managing? You've had a, a bit more about you. We'd have had a decent place by now and no need for our girls getting into bad ways. That's Avril you're talking about. Well, she's a girl and she, she's just as liable to bad ways as any other. What's her name? This classy girl what owns his... This classy girl what owns his flat. What's her name? Kate. Kate what? I don't know. You give money to a girl and you don't know her name? Well, I can't, can't remember. <laughs> you, you give two weeks' rent to a girl and you can't even remember her name? Well, it's Irish. O'Neill, that's it. Well, this Miss O'Neill. Mrs. O'Neill. Oh, Mrs. She's got a baby. Well, what's he like? Too tiny to tell. The husband girl, what's the husband like? Oh, I don't know. What's he do? Something in the theatre. The theatre? Well, he did. He's gone off. Oh, that's it. That's it. She's oh, not going to go and marry Teller. It's settled. It's all no, settled. It's not it's settled. This is. I'm going. Oh, clear home in the love of you. Take a step of you and I'll let anyone out. I told you, didn't I? You keep on telling me. You don't want it? No, I ate it. Anyway, you did it. Look funny without it. Hey? That wall. Look funny without it. You can keep it. No. I ate it. Told you, didn't I? Paying rent on a, on a place she ain't living in. To a girl she don't know whose husband's run off. Do you want your girl in a place like that? I want her happy. I feel bad, eh? You don't mean that. Oh, can't you do nothing but play with that rotten hat? She's such a little baby. Smallest of the lot of them. And hard to get. Didn't think I'd rear her, did they? But I did. Funny, isn't it? Wait all that time for the first baby and and then all this. Don't make no sense. She must have let the cork out. Oh, stop that. Just right in those days. What? This place. Just right. Hmm. You and me and then Avril. Plenty big enough. And then all this lot. Me. I thought I was doing right for the girl, helping her to this job. I helped myself to it. Your mum is just saying. I helped myself to it. I worked for this job. Well, I kept you at school. At school, I worked for this job. Well, I slaved in the sauce factory to keep you there. Good office training, they said. Shorthand and typing. Job with the future. Could have gone to art school. You never said. Don't make money at art school. All oh, you think about is money. You taught me. You were always on about money. What you'd do if you had money, when we're all working, what you'd do. It's not true. It's true, all right. I, I wanted a decent life for you. And I'm going to get it now. What long struggle we've had. There's a bit of sunshine here, isn't there? You should be glad I'm getting out to something different. I'm going. 
gun now. You needn't worry, Mum. Can we hear? No. no. I want to see what sort of a place she's going to. No. Well, look, husband run off. See, I don't know what sort of a girl she is. Her father's a pastor. There. Well, that's no criteria. Miss Hart knows him. Well, I don't know Miss Hart. You're not coming, Mum. Look, you're underage. If you follow me out this door, I'll never come home again. I thought, I thought that Avril and me, I thought we might have gone on a little holiday with you. No, just a few days in a little place. You can still have holiday, love. <laughs> I'd like a holiday, love. No, she don't want me. Not anymore, she don't want me. She'll be glad to see you, love. Tell the kids to get into bed. What? What are you? to wash, won't you? In that bathroom of yours. You'll need to wash.